Yo, what up, guys? This is your boy, son, TJ. How's it going, everyone? Today, we're here to talk about Drama Super Manga Chapter 82 Spoilers. I haven't done this in a while. Um, still working on different type of videos. But if you're new to the channel, um, if you like me talking about... Well, if you like talking about drama, anime, manga, comics, movies, uh, this is the channel for you. And we're going to be bringing in working out workout content pretty soon. So if you have a favorite um, anime character you like, um, I'm probably going to incorporate to my workouts and try to get everyone healthy in shape. But regardless, let's talk about Chapter 82. So we start off. Well, actually, the name of the chapter is Bardock versus Gas. So I'm assuming we're going to get the full um, flashback of Bardock versus Gas. We've only seen like the ending point. So he's about to shoot a key blast and Gas is freaking out. But he like still beats the crap out of Vegeta for like no reason. I, I still don't understand that. But yeah, we see uh, Blue Goku here fighting Gas. And he's able to block a kick and able to defend himself, which is, is I'm not going to lie, man. I know this arc has already gotten a lot of negative uh, feedback from, f from people who don't even like the, uh, the manga or people who do like the manga. And I want to add on to that narrative. But Gas and just the whole power scaling right now is very um, confusing. Um, I know some people just they just want me to either just suck off Goku or hate on Vegeta or whatever. But it's like, it's like Vegeta and Goku in their strongest forms, which is Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego, have lost in very weird ways, and their abilities have been told in weird ways. But it's like UI Goku, like your uh, UI Go uh, Goku and Blue using UI has done so good between like either a, a fatigue full power granola or a gas who's at his strongest ever. It is no fatigue. You can either say that he's keeping Goku around for fun or torture, whatever it is. It's like regardless of how you feel about who's stronger or whatnot, it just feels weird that. We're seeing like a weaker form get so much more screen time than both Ultra Ego Vegeta and UI Goku. It's weird to me. Um, I don't know. Again, that's just how I feel about it. Again, well, hopefully we get more of an explanation throughout this chapter. Maybe, maybe we might get a, a return of Perfected Ultra Instinct. But I am getting kind of tired of Blue Goku performing better, at least through screen wise, above Ultra Ego and UI Goku, granted UI Goku, like I talked about in my previous short, you can check that out. I talk about the weakness of Ultra Instinct and how it's shown with both Mirrors and Goku when you're talking to someone, you get, you get like snuck. But yeah, we see Goku blocking a kick, does some damage to him. We see him teleporting around. He teleports to the uh, Galact Galactic Patrol. Um, we see them fighting yet again. And again, they're clashing with each other pretty well. I just, I just feel like Gas, yes, since he is the strongest in the universe right now, he should be doing a lot better against Blue Goku than he is right now. Um, I don't know. But we continue on. And we see Goku. He's like kind of, he's like, again, he, Go, when Goku was fighting Jiren or when he's fighting other people like that, he didn't have this much like relaxed confidence with him. I granted that is a part of UI, but the fact that he's still able to piss off Gas, talking about how you can't get rid of me, then he gets them. That's Monaka right there, the real strongs in the universe. He's able to like put semen on him, and um, Goku's able to crack a joke like, This is what happens when you're fighting blindly or whatever. Like, I just feel like Goku in blue again. I'm glad that blue is getting a lot more shine because some people say that blue is a worthless form and loses all the time, blah blah blah. But it just feels so weird that this guy who's stronger than Granola, stronger than Ultra Ego Vegeta, stronger than UI Goku, stronger all these things, is just being portrayed in such a way that makes him look kind of incompetent. And then, like, you can tell that's affecting him because he's telling Goku, shut up, and rushing at him and stuff. And I don't know, but we're teleporting around, and we're teleporting... Uh, uh, I think this is that one dude who, like, who can, like, knows everything in the universe, but did, like, gas and less of fool, he's in the tub... I don't know where this is leading to, to be honest, but I'm excited to see the full f flashback of Bardock versus Gas. But yeah, again, this, there's people who, um, who, who obviously don't want to listen to what I have to say and just keep thinking I, I'm just hating on certain um, characters and stuff. But I am kind of getting tired of like seeing, again, maybe this is like a technique thing. Like, you know what, maybe Goku in blue and using UI and his technique is able to handle stronger villains than him letting his guard down in his most strongest form of Vegeta overhyping himself. I don't know, but it is getting kind of kind of boring because I feel like we're just seeing Goku in a form where he's not going to win. But 
Uh, let me see here. Um, because the full translation is like right here. Uh, thanks to Dragon Ball DBS hype and also thanks to uh, DBS Chronicles right here. But yeah, again, we see Goku teleporting around like stuff that we haven't even, we already talked about before. But I'm just kind of trying to hope that this arc ends pretty soon because I've been seeing too much of the same thing. Like um, UI Goku gets snuck, then we get Ultra Ego Vegeta, then Ultra Ego Vegeta overhypes himself, loses. Then we got Granola versus Gas. Then, then well, then we have Blue Goku versus Ga uh, uh, Well, Granola. Then he's able to hold his own and just lose. I just don't want another Blue Goku holds his own and loses again. Then where we're at, we're gonna get Broly next. Like I just, I don't know. Like I just hope that Goku figures out some type of weakness that Gas has. Then he uses Perfect UI, wins and already ends his arc. Then we go to Super Drama Hero. Oh, not Super Drama Heroes. Um, Dra Drama Super Superhero. Um. But yeah, that's how I feel about it, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about these spoilers. Um, the art looks cool right now. Like, I just can't wait to see it fully drawn. So yeah, that's it for me. Sun to job peace. Love you all.